So I want to thank uh, the host country Tunisia for um, hosting this event. I think it was the first uh, event of its, of its nature to actually amplify the topic of um, women in standards and, and leadership. And uh, we could have gone all day on this topic, uh, so it, we just got a snippet of, of the issues and the opportunities that are before us. And what, we, what I've noticed is it's a global, global issue uh, that has presented itself. So I'm very pleased with the outcome of today's discussion. I think it's um, more the will to want to tap in on women in particular. Uh, uh, on the topic of having women in leadership positions, I think it's more that than anything else. Um, we, can, we can actually uh, speak about uh, what are the hindrances, but it's more the will. I believe, uh, personally, uh, sometimes, <laughs> I've always said there should be a, probably a special Nobel Prize for the country and, or, and or organization that actually showcases what they've done in terms of women in technology, women in standards. In my opinion, it's, uh, it's, a, it's not a zero-sum game. Uh, we're, we should have winners on both sides. And I think we're a step forward, in, uh, but we have a, a ways to go. When I hear about what uh, that means in the 21st century, whether it's 81 years or 117 or 118 years to achieve that level of parity, uh, if we think about it, the, if we look at the 17 sus, uh, uh, Sustainable Development Goals, uh, that are before us, number f uh, five is gender equality. We really have to uh, uh, look at uh, what success uh, means, and success means that in our lifetime we shouldn't have to talk about this issue anymore. It's, uh, it's, it's so ingrained in what I call the DNA of our organizations and our, in our countries. Well, first of all, access skills and leadership all go together, and uh, you know it, you have to have uh, whatever it is. Techn technology access um, uh, is one issue, uh, and technology is just a, a driver. It's not, uh, you know, it's it, it's a it's a an ingredient in a recipe in a res overall recipe that we need to have. Uh, and when we look at leadership and skills, I mean, first of all, leadership is what we we are talking about. How do you tap in on women to become leaders? Uh, and who are leaders in many ways, but uh, need to grow further into to the leadership positions. If you can't see it, you can't be it. And that's the old adage, if you can't see it, you can't be it. The other component is on skills. I personally believe that skills uh, is uh, sh learning, it's, it's lifelong learning overall. Uh, you have a responsibility to look at what skills you need to refresh upon or tap in on to make yourself even more uh, relevant to uh, our society and to an ever-changing and exponential changing society because not society is overall but technology is exponentially changing and so when we're talking about smart cities or smart anything it means that we have to understand uh, the technologies before us will that mean what does it mean in terms of the future of jobs that's yet another discussion uh, some jobs may be displaced by those technologies while other jobs may be open and certainly tapping in on women as a resource in leading us into the in, through this 21st century discussion is perfectly an opportunity for us. Now people gave up. I'm very much encouraged because that only uh, uh, amplifies the importance of the topic overall. What encourages me even further is that we have uh, men participating in this discussion. Uh, if men don't participate in the discussion, we are an echo chamber of, of the topic. And, uh, you know, again, it's tapping in on on men as, as the power of the and to use the, uh, the mathematical formula, I mean and or, right, so and uh, in, this, in this area. I also want to use the, the opportunity to say that there is a book that uh, I have co-edited with uh, three other co-editors and that is The Internet of Women Accelerating Culture Change. Uh, that's really narratives in 30 countries plus about uh, what is being done uh, in technology, women developing technology, women entrepreneurs, women leaders, and there is even a chapter behind every great woman could be a man, and I say could be a man. And uh, we, I'm very, very uh, just uh, impressed by what men are doing in this space with women together as partners, equal partners.